Hey everybody, so I'm currently in Mexico, as you can probably tell from the background, and I thought I'd really quick put up this video because I know that um, prior to me flying on this vacation, I was looking for information on this specific topic, and I would have loved to have watched somebody talk about their experiences with flying with an allergy, whether it be, you know, a gluten allergy, celiac disease, or any other kind of dietary restriction, and kind of what they got away with, how they prepared, and what the rules were. So I'm halfway through my trip right now, and I'm flying home tomorrow, and I still have a lot of this stuff I brought with me, so I thought I'd kind of tell you what my experience has been flying with um, dietary restrictions and the food I brought along with me. So to start off, I'll tell you quickly about my situation, but I think this could apply to anybody with any sort of food restriction. I have celiac disease, I can't eat gluten or have anything with cross-contamination, and when I'm at home, it's fine because I can prepare my own stuff, but going to Mexico um, really stressed me out, specifically the traveling time. Um, I knew at the resort they had some options, although I wasn't sure how much they'd be able to accommodate me until I got here. So I did pack a lot of extra stuff just in case there wasn't a lot for me to eat here. Luckily, I've been pretty good, but um, yeah, the travel is what uh, stressed me out the most because the flight's about six hours or so, and then you're at the airport three hours early and then you're getting home. So it's like the whole day and um, there aren't always options. So I started off by letting the airline and the travel agent know about my dietary restrictions, which I would definitely highly recommend. And uh, they came back to me with that this particular airline didn't actually provide meals. It was a a la carte thing where you buy snacks kind of thing. and. Um, when they looked into the menu of, of options you could buy, there was nothing that was gluten-free. So luckily I was well prepared ahead of time, I knew that going into it. Um, the funny thing is, once I arrived at the airport, they called me up to the front before we started boarding, and uh, they said, we see here it says gluten-free um, on your ticket or whatever. And I was like, yep, yeah, no, I can't eat gluten, and they're like, oh, we just wanted to let you know we don't have anything that's gluten-free. And I thought that was really interesting. Like, I already knew in advance, but if I hadn't have asked, I wouldn't have found out till right before I was boarding that there was nothing to eat for six hours plus. So yes, definitely prepare yourself knowledge-wise as best you can before you travel. And my big question, what I was researching, is what kind of foods were okay to take on the plane. Um, because I knew that dry foods like granola bars and nuts and things like that would be totally fine. But I really wanted to bring an actual lunch on board, preferably, you know, fruit, veg, meat, cheese, whatever it may be. I was just curious, like, what you could bring on the plane, and I thought a lot of things would be restricted. I thought it'd be the same as, you know, crossing the border, you can't bring fresh produce across, things like that, and in all the reading I did, um, I didn't come across anything that told me I couldn't bring just normal, like, fresh food on the plane, which was shocking. I did read some blogs and stuff of people who had done it, so I just kind of went with that. Um, the big restriction that I came across in general was the liquid restriction. So even things like peanut butter and hummus, um, anything of liquid consistency like salad dressing that is considered part of the 100 milliliter rule that they have, and I'm not sure if it's different on different airlines, but definitely be careful with the liquids. I tried to avoid those. Um, I think I avoided them completely actually, but I still managed to bring fresh stuff on the plane. Then one thing I learned once, I was already in travel and I did get across with this fresh stuff, which I'll be telling you about um, in a couple of minutes, but one thing I did learn is once you're kind of on the plane, they make you fill out customs papers and whatnot, and it makes you declare what you're bringing across, and fresh produce and stuff like that is listed at that point. And because I didn't want to deal with um, any issues with you know, custom border patrol or whatnot. I just made sure that I ate everything I brought with me that was um, fresh or meat or cheese, that kind of stuff. I made sure to eat all that before I actually got off the flight and went through into the next country. So that's what I would recommend. All the dry stuff came across fine, but the actual like lunch that I made for that day, I just made sure I wasn't carrying any of that across the border. Now for the lunch that I did bring for myself, I packed it in a Tupperware. I have the Tupperwares that collapse so it's space saving which is awesome. I plan to use this on the way back as well but I read on a couple of blogs people labeling their stuff so I labeled mine celiac disease special allergy food just in case there was any question going through security as to what you're bringing. I didn't have any issues I even had it in a cooler that's the other thing I put it in a cooler but not with an ice pack because again that would be considered a liquid and once I crossed through security and then there's food kiosks and whatnot before you get on the plane I asked for some ice and put it in a ziploc bag and put it in my cooler at that point. So that's another tip I have. 
But yeah, this is the, like the fresh lunch fruit I bought. And I put in here pierogies, because I like pierogies. And I put tomatoes and cucumbers and some cut up cheese so I could eat it with the crackers that I brought along. And did I put anything else in there? A pepperoni stick. So then I had more than just dried foods, and this carried me through just fine. And when I go back on the flight tomorrow, I plan to hit up the buffet and put similar stuff in here. Again, no liquids, but just like regular foods so that I can have it for the flight ride home. And then that aside, I have tons of dry goods, kind of like emergency food just to keep me going. And again, like I said, I didn't know what kind of food would be here at the resort, so it was backup food. So just some examples, I know this would have helped me. Um, dried fruit. I brought dried pineapple and prunes. Um, I brought nuts. I really think I'm nut, nuts myself with all the food that I brought, but it stresses me out. I mean, I'm pregnant also. I wanted to make sure if there was no food here, I'd be good. Uh, this is protein powder. It's like shake mix that I could just mix with water or milk in case, I don't know, I got really hungry. Uh, these are the little chia individual packet things like jelly things um uh, what else just kind bars so i bought these this these chia i was just thinking about it. these chia packets i actually had in my checked luggage because this again would be considered a liquid so i didn't bring that in my carry-on um these are a whole bunch of roasted chickpeas i can't remember what they're called um, just some more different types of bars. I came with so many bars. <laughs> Didn't want to get hungry. Um, this I thought was a great idea. It's rice pasta and like mac and cheese. But if I got really hungry, I could just ask for hot water and make it. I thought that was a great idea. Uh, of course, I brought different kinds of crackers. Um, corn ones and Breton ones that are gluten free, and I could just eat them with cheese. And then the last thing I brought which um, has come in handy. I put it in this little Tupperware, but it's powder. This is actually a peanut butter powder. I think this one's called PB squared. Um, but you just add liquid to it and it becomes its own peanut butter. And then it's not actually a liquid that you're carrying. It's still a powder, but if you want peanut butter, you can make it and put it on your crackers. So yeah, that's what I uh, took on my flight with me. Didn't have any issues at all with any of this stuff and I plan to fly back with it tomorrow. So I hope it's helpful to some of you, whether you have celiac disease or any other dietary restrictions. It was very shocking to me that I could bring fresh like produce and food on the flight, um, but I would just recommend eating it before you get off and go through the, to the next country. If you have any more info about it, feel free to leave it in the comments down below so other people can read about it just in case they're curious and hopefully my tips help. Just, I, I would just suggest um, learning as much as you can before you go, but being prepared for the worst at the same time. Let everyone know, let the resort know, let the flight know, let the travel agent know. Tell the whole world just in case they do have an option for you, but be prepared on your own in case you don't, because that, that would be the worst, not having any food at all. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!